annual Waltham Food and Wine Expo, where dozens of Waltham restaurants are well represented, featuring food from all around the world. Let's check in with some of the attendees and see what they're chowing down on. We have uh, Mexican food over on this side, which is fabulous, and over on that corner is Indian food. So, I mean, you can't go wrong. It's a little bit of every corner of the world right in this room, so it's wonderful. All the restaurants are like awesome, and the new venue is awesome, too. Uh, I just tried some of the lobster that was over uh, from Piccadilly, which was very good. And uh, my man Austin over here just had some pizza from Upper Crust that was real, real good. Paella over there was fabulous. Well, actually, this is my first time at the event. Um, I'm the general manager here at the Westin, and I was approached by um, Doug Waybright of the Nelson Companies, uh, since he's on the uh, board with the museum. Um, they wanted a new venue, and um, this is the first place that came to mind just because of how iconic the property is within the Waltham community. Plus it's easy access off the expressway and whatnot, and the size of our ballroom. We have the biggest ballroom in, in the suburbs. So um, we were delighted to partner with them. Um, from what I've heard from Doug, this is the biggest turnout they have ever had for this event. So that's great. It's great for us, it's great for the community, and most important, it's great for the museum. It's fabulous. I have to admit though, I've been doing it backwards. I started with the chocolate and the chocolate mousse from the Waltham Culinary uh, in culinary arts uh, class at the um, at the high school, I guess. And so I actually, actually haven't yet gotten to the main courses. There's nothing wrong with starting with dessert first. Life's uncertain. Eat dessert first, right? 